what is success? Success means different things to different people. But my point of all this is, is that there's a lot of people that I've been asking me recently, you know, how do you afford all this stuff? Like, where do you get all the good deals? And all those things. So if you can see behind me, I'm mean, trying not to be in the picture. But that is a little chalkboard that I found for $3, put into a frame for $2 from Salvation Army. And uh, yeah, I have a thing. And I'm just showing the camera because my camera happens to be one of my recent successes. So for me, success means getting a goal and accomplishing it. So at first when things didn't go well, my goal was to simply be able to have a roof over my head, food in my belly, and work on my mental illness, work on my health, and I did that. And then once I've done that, I moved to another goal. And that goal was moving from my bachelor apartment to this one bedroom apartment. And then from there, I accomplished that and I was very happy and proud of myself. So then I moved on to being financially independent and not needing my mom's help to do things. And that happened in many ways. One, I learned how to budget and I'm still learning. And yes, I have help. Megan helps me out with that a lot. Mel also helps me with making choices when, you know, Megan's not around because she's only here when, you know, she's paid to. But we started slowly. So we started with things because I had extra money and I bought things online that weren't name brand but they would do what I wanted it to do so that's where this comes in so I did all my nails for the longest time I still do them myself and I had this UV nail cooker I don't call it and I got it from Wish. And you know what? It works just as well as anything else. It has this quirks and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, it works. I don't have to pay $300 for something. It does the exact same thing. And at my time, my goal was to have my nails. And it would do my nails. And the same thing goes for shoes. Those were the sneakers I had last summer. And I mean, they're great sneakers. I got them for $40. But the, the sole is foam, and we're definitely wearing out. And I got lucky. I found these Under Armour sneakers last year. And I loved them. They were a little expensive, but I had the extra money. And I went for it. One, because I'm accomplishing my goal now of moving forward from things that will just kind of do. You know, or no. Moving forward from things that will do the job, but aren't pretty or beautiful or what people have on TV or internet, but they're still functional and they still work. So those sneakers were functional and they worked. However, if I walked in a puddle, I, you know, my feet were wet. But I bought these for two reasons. One, because that's my new goal is to get things Okay, I'm going to say it, like name brand or, or high quality. Let's just go with high quality. But I am not paying high quality price. I refuse to because I don't think you have to. And I'm proving here that you don't. But the second reason why I bought those at that time is, for those of you who probably already know, I'm agoraphobic. I do not like leaving my house. And I bought myself a really nice, awesome pair of shoes that I wanted to show off. In order to try to motivate myself in order to leave more often and go out and do things in the world. And then it just so happened that I found these shoes. They're on sale at Sears, okay, when Sears was closing. I looked them up. They're super expensive. Apparently. They're like, um, they're actually men's. 
But I mean, I think they're great. I don't care if they're men's. I'll wear them anyway. And yes, okay, I have a theme that I like to lace my shoes up in a, a different manner. That's my thing. These are my latest ones. I found these chucks. I got them at Winners. They were $40. Now, I know my chucks because I'm a child of the 90s and I love them. I knew they were special edition and I knew they were worth more than $40. I did not know how much. When I got home, I looked them up. They are reduced to $110 at Sports Track. Thank God for TJ Maxx being able to buy things. So now, yes, I'm moving into the realm of quality things that will last me a long time, but I am not paying full price. One, I can't afford it, and two, I don't think that they're worth it. So they're, these sneakers are reduced to 110. I think they're originally 180. Now they're chucks, okay? They're awesome. We all know how awesome they are. But if you look at the quality, even though these are actually good quality chucks, though, but it's basically material with, you know, rubber. There is nothing in this shoe or this whole, or these two shoes put together that comes to $180 worth of material, time, and, and whatnot. You're paying for the brand name. And I'm, you know, personally, I don't care about brand names. It just happens that these ones have one. But, you know, they could have been pretend chucks. If they looked like this, I would have bought them anyway. That's not the point. But then you move over to my side here. So this was my old lamp. It works fine. I've been using it for over a year. Right now, I just peeled off the old gel nails because they were kind of coming off. I'm waiting for my new poly gel system to come in. So I'm just going to painted them real quick and yes if you do carefully take your gel nails off you don't necessarily ruin your nails but this is my new lamp that I bought and yes I looked it up I knew my taxes were coming I looked up a lot of things a lot of the things that I bought with my taxes I knew what they were I got great prices with them so if you see there's there's timers there's also if it's not plugged in but there's a sensor, so as soon as you put your hand in, it turns on. And as soon as you pull your hands out, it turns out. And there's a timer. So, yes, I looked it up. And it's one of the best combination UV LED lights out there. For the price, I mean. You know, we're, we're not talking 400 something dollars, okay? This was about 35 to 40 um, And that was on sale again. So, yes, I do get things on sale and a lot of people are like, how do you get those sales? Well, one, I research things. I look at stuff for a very long time before I make my decision. Now, this one was special. I saw it last year at Costco. I wanted it. Did not have the money at the time and had to put it back. And it was been on my mind the whole time. I saw it about a month ago. I did have the money and I swooped it up. And that's just another little elephant that I bought myself because, you know, hey, let's decorate things. So these things, you know, are my collection. So I have my Living Dead dolls, my crystal sparkle skull. All right, that sparkle skull was $1.50 the day after Halloween in the clearance bin. I have no problem admitting that. I'm not paying full price. Then I have other Living Dead dolls. More. Okay, these, I did not spend more than 30 on anything. They're worth more than that now, but I'm not selling them. I have A Nightmare Before Christmas. I got that at Salvation Army for $2. Seriously. I'm obsessed with that kind of stuff. And then we have Elsa. Sitting back there. There's a story behind Elsa. She was given to me as a Christmas present from a family member. I'm going to call her a family member because she's a family friend that's been friends with my mother for like 40 years or more now. She's been there since the day I was born. She's kind of like another mother. If I need to talk about something, she's always there. And the story behind her giving me an Elsa doll 
is to remind me to let it go. And that is the sweetest, kindest message ever. So yes, Elsa deserves to be amongst my favorite collectibles. And this is another one. If you can see her down here. The light's bad. I need to get her restored, but she's a goth Barbie. She's got tattoos and everything. And yes, I found her at a secondhand store. I shop at secondhand stores all the time. It's where I get my clothes. And my recent purchase of a wireless charger for my cell phone. Yeah, I got it on sale. I got it at Winners. It's got a two-year warranty on it and all that kind of whatnot. Yay! Again, not willing to pay the full price. Why would I go pay seven... I think it's 70 something or 80 something for a Samsung brand when that one works fine. Again, same thing. And then I know the sunlight's gonna do something. This is my latest purchase. And I spent all night last night redoing the whole, redoing the whole organization of it. Because yes, I like organizing things. So let's zoom in. So things are in there. It's a tight space. It's all right. I've got my stuff in there. The few things that did not fit before, I've, I've got drawers in my desk. So, you know, they fit in the drawers because I don't necessarily use them every day. This is the stuff that I use every day. And I fit it in there. Oh, there's me. <laughs> and, um... My little decoration bowl of fake jewelry. That's all fake jewelry, by the way. So don't think I'm rich or anything. If you see pictures, it's, it's all from, I don't know, eBay or whatever. That's how I hold my beauty blenders, okay? Shot glasses, bedazzled. I've got a coffee cup that holds my makeup brushes. Sure. I have my little cup here behind there. Because beauty gurus, they, need, they tend to mix stuff. And when my face wasn't feeling all that good, I had to mix moisturizer in with my foundation. And I am not paying $12 for some slab of glass for me to mix things together. You know what? The underneath part of that cup does perfectly fine to mix things together. It's free because I already had it in my cupboard. And this other beautiful stained glass box that I have here. It has a few things going on on the inside, so I'm not going to open it up. It was a gift. It was a gift from my godmother. So, why not show it off, right? That's my watch. Okay, a long time ago I bought an expensive watch. I actually collect watches. That's my thing. Um, but we're not going to go there. And this is a little pig. Which is totally cute. Made in Manitoba. My mom got it for me when she went to Winnipeg. You, you're the first time she went to see her sister for Christmas. So, Hamilton, Justin, Nicole, Rochelle, all of you guys, hi. Um, because when I was three, my mom and I went to spend Christmas with my aunt and uh, her husband, with my uncle, in Winnipeg. And the flight there was not good. For some weird reason, I got sick, and I still remember to this day. When we got back on the plane, it was the same gentleman that was greeting us. And I told him to not feed me eggs because they made me sick. I don't know, I was three. But I used to call it Winnipeg. So that's why my mom has a pig for me made in Manitoba. It's a special thing between her and I, and I'm going to share it. And those are the little things in life that I value as being successful. That I value that are important. I don't care what the price tag on that little Winnipeg pig thing was. The fact is that it is something that not only do they take time to think about it, there's a meaning behind it. Same thing for my Elsa doll. There's a personal connection. And those personal connections are worth more money than anything you can buy on the internet. And sometimes we kind of tend to lose track of all that. And it's Unfortunate that I mean it happens. Now when it comes to this whole stand, yes, I have been looking at them for a while on the internet. And I did 
have a video where I, I opened it all up and I told you how the person didn't realize how long it took to get um, from Mississauga, Ontario to New Brunswick. But it was $40. I'm not kidding. $39.99. No taxes, no shipping, no nothing. $39.99 for all that. Usually when you want to buy just one piece, it's more than that. So yeah, it was a great deal. I went for it. If I would have bought it at the full price that they usually are, which is like, I don't know, a lot. I wouldn't have gone for it. No way. But at that price, yes, I was willing to pay that kind of money. And don't mind me in my pajamas, okay? Because, um, we're Saturday. Yeah. The last thing I have to mention are my bracelets. If anybody sees me wear them, I usually wear them every day when I go out. I don't wear them all the time because I'm allergic to the metal here, but that's okay. So these are hand-woven leather bracelets. And um, my mom's boyfriend got them for me for Christmas. And that was very thoughtful of him. Because he is a very, very nice man. And um, I am very happy that my mom has a friend to spend time with. Getting into the hobby of wood carving. You know, you've all seen me open the mail of her getting wood carving whatnots. So, um, you know... I'm very happy for her. And this on this side, you know, little things that make the difference. You all know that I love unicorns. You know, these light up. You won't be able to see them. Four dollars. At Dollarama. Put batteries in and they work. I cannot pass that up. And then again, I needed to fill the little corner back here. And yeah, I like Jack Skellington. Okay. I'm sorry. I tried to uh, marry him on Facebook and they wouldn't let me because he was a public figure. So, thanks for tuning in. And my point through all this is success is measured by goals, by you achieving your goals. Your goals can be whatever the heck you want them to be. And they can be as silly as walking down the block because for a while, that was a goal of mine because I couldn't walk down a block without freaking out. I can now, thankfully, to a point. You know, I can get to my job, I can get to the bus stop, and I'm happy with that. I'm very content with my life. Yes, I, I'm done buying things, trust me, I don't have any more money. Um, but they were all at very, very good prices, things that were very reduced and all that whatnot.